have to realize that we're human beings. And what that means is we don't just think with our minds, but we have hands, we have feet, we have bodies. And if you look at most of the disciplines, we see that those are being used for the sake of the discipline. But if you think about math, unlike any other discipline, people assume that all you need is a chalk or a piece of pencil and a paper. But what would happen if math actually was made embodied? If you could make math physical? And not just what would it mean to excite students, that's one part of it as a pedagogical thing to showcase what math could look like, but actually to do research. If you have an environment where you're meant to be doing a certain thing, it's a lot easier to focus on that thing. I think having a space to actually see math and like be able to touch things and like build things and play around with it will be very, very beneficial. The hardest thing about the department is that there is no loving entrance. If you're facing it, you see this little uh, cave with three doors that are locked, and that is our welcome. Well, it feels like someone's grubby little basement. We got in this space because we were trying to find an area that we could like work and like keep all of our stuff up on the board, didn't have to erase anything. Uh, but also trying to get away from like the dungeon that is first floor Sarah. So we're working on methods of unfolding convex polyhedra and it's kind of a tangential question to a 500 year old unsolved math problem. The goal of a math studio, a math laboratory, is to think about a space where students be, can be devoted to their work, not have to tear down the painting, tear down the sculpture and set it up the next day, not have to erase walls, but to keep it there for a long time and use our bodies to do it. I think that having this space with the openness and especially with the sort of glass walls facing inward is gonna give more of a sense of community. So once we see what's going on in the design studio, have that opened all the time, people are like, what's that? You know, I wanna get involved in this. And, Already with this, if, when the doors open, every single person who walks by is like, what are these LEDs? What's going on with it? The main goal of this math studio will be to do research. That's the number one goal. The two other pieces of the puzzle, to teach students what math physical space could look like, and also to promote and to showcase this, this new wonder that we have. But since nobody does it this way, in terms of taking design components, taking art studio components, taking math research components and putting it like this, we're at ground zero. His idea for this design studio, you know, he's really head of the game on this. People will look to our department and say, say, wow, we want to do something like that. You know, I think it's, it's incredibly innovative and, and I think once sort of the word gets out, It'll be exciting to other people too.